Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ebony. I am the owner of Right Now Vending. Today, I am going to discuss one of my favorite pieces of software. This software was a game changer. It made my vending machine business run so much more smoothly. Prior to this, I was stressed trying to figure out how to calculate taxes, how to keep the inventory managed. Every time I would go and check the vending machine, I'm like, ah, how do I do this? This worksheet is not working out. So found this software. It is amazing. So let's get started. So once you get this piece of software, the first thing that you need to do, well, one of the first things you need to do is come over here down to configuration. And right now we are in my demo account. So we will do the configuration right here. You will first need to list your product types. So if you're doing beverages, chips, food, hot drinks, whatever it is that you're doing, um, you'll create your product right here. So again, that was food. Let's just say it's food or, um, yeah. So we'll do food again, and then choose the type of sales tax that you need to put on there. And then you'll hit save. So come up under here under tax types. This is where you'll add the sales tax at. We did a previous video on that. So depending on what your state requires, um, if there's a tax only on drinks, or if there's a tax on both food and drinks. So you'll say whatever your state is, whatever the name of your state is, I will put that. And then if only food is taxed, or if food and beverages are taxed, or if only beverages are taxed, then you add that. So in my case, only beverages are taxed. So we'll hit that. And the next one we'll do is our suppliers. So you may have a long list of suppliers. Um, and as you gain new suppliers, you come here and add them. So let's just say Walmart and let's say the location is Ridge. Let's just say that. Oh, I can't spell today. There we go. And then you can put in um, the address if you want. That would help you, you know, and whatever the contact person's telephone number is, and then just hit save. So now you have your suppliers. This is important because once we come back to, we'll come back to this page to purchases, you'll hit create purchase, and then supplier will show up right here. And see, we just added that one there. So that's why that's important. Or if you're on this page, you can just hit. Um, add and add it right there. Either way is fine. Let's go back to configuration. And okay, so we did suppliers. If you want, you can do variety packs. We'll do this in a separate video. If there are any custom fields, you would add that here. Okay, so we'll come down here to trucks and then we will come over here to create truck. And right here, you can put the license plate number or the type of vehicle. This box right here is what will show up when you get ready to create a trip. So if it's easier for you to just put van, you can put that or you can put van number one, van number two, however you want to be able to differentiate between um, the various vehicles. If you have more than one vehicle that you're utilizing for your company, then you may need to put the license plate number there and then you'll need to select a driver so for me i'm just going to put my business name but if it's an individual person you can add them there and if you want to put the manufacturer model uh, model year and any type of notes there you'll add that there and then you'll hit save so creating trucks in here is important because when we go over here to create a trip and then come over here to create trip. We won't go fully through this right now just because I have a separate video for that. So let's just choose. You can backdate this too. So let's just say it was a trip last week. And then right here is where your trip will show up. 
so you'll select that and then i usually put like restock or something like that right there and then you'll create a trip but we have more to do over there so back to what we're doing we're doing configurations today we want to leave this page so you'll also create warehouses so the warehouse is basically like your office or wherever you store your food and snacks and drinks and things like that so you can put um you know let's just say office is the code and then the name you can just put main I don't know if i can spell main office or whatever your address whatever you want to use as like your warehouse your warehouse in this system no matter if it's in your basement your garage a back bedroom whatever is where you are traveling from where your uh, snacks your products are stored at if you want to assign it to a location you can so these are the locations that we previously input so you can assign it there or not but you don't have to so just put um, that and save then if you want to do column maps you can I don't do this but you can add um, you can also add common problems so if refund is a common problem um, you can add that or a broken machine something like that so you would just add that right here product requests if people are requesting you know the larger size bag of doritos or something like that or if a restock is required that's where you would add that so that is it for the configuration section so we'll cover some more of the vinsoft software over here um, in a later video so thank you for watching if you're interested in utilizing the Vinsoft software, I would greatly appreciate it if you click on my affiliate link below. That would help the channel, help me, and you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.